Number 46. Suppose that the half-life of steroids taken by an athlete is 42 days. Assume that the steroids biodegrade by a first-order process. How long would it take for 1 64th of the initial dose to remain in the athlete's body? Okay, so what was this athlete doing? I don't know, but we got to answer the question. So the first sentence says that, you know, for, for this type of steroid, whatever it is, right, it said that this half-life, the half-life of the steroid, and a half-life is always written as T-half, right? It's got to have that half in the, in the subscript position. The half-life is 42 days. Wow. <laughs> That's going to stay in the body for a long time. Now, just by definition, a half-life is the time it takes for the, uh, the pharmaceutical, or in this case, the steroid, to degrade by half. So if we're talking about percents, and maybe what we'll do is we'll do a little percent demonstration, and then we'll do a fraction, because I do see that we have fractions here. So let's do percent and a fraction. Now, always you want to start off with your initial percents and your initial fractions. So what is the highest percentage that you can possibly have? Yeah, right? 100%. You're always going to start off with 100%. And then if, in this case, you know, 42 days goes by, the steroid, once injected, you add 100% of the steroid, and then as time goes on, it starts, you know, degrading and biodegrading and degrading and, you know, it gets less and less as far as a percentage. In 42 days, you're going to cut that 100% into half, which would be 50%. So now, there comes the next half-life, 42. What would be the percentage after the next 42 days? Did you say 100? Not 100. Did you say 0? Or did you say 25? The correct answer is 25%. Because once you reached a half-life, you now take that new percentage as your initial percentage. And now 50% has to break down into half. 50 divided by 2 is 25. So it's going to take 42 days to now get your full percentage down to basically a quarter. So in this case, 42 plus 42 is 84 days. That's almost three months. <laughs> so in three months time for this steroid, right, you're still going to have 25% of that steroid still in your body. And then you keep going. Divide 25 by 2 is 12.5. That's another half-life. Add another 42 days on. Now let's talk about the fraction. Well, we talked about that the highest percent is 100%. What is the highest fraction? It's actually not a fraction at all. It's one, right? Because if you think of it as, you know, slices of pizza, a fraction is always part over whole. And if we have eight total slices, but if nobody ate any slices left, or nobody ate any slices, that's eight over eight. That's equal to one. If you had, you know, four slices of pizza, and that was the only four, right? Four over four is one. So same exact thing, same rules apply. You start with one, and then after 42 days, you're now down to what percentage? Yeah, a half, right? A half corresponds with 50%. And then you do it again. And now you're down to 25%, which is one-fourth. But now this is what happens when you have nice percentages and you have nice fractions. Now, in this case, how long would it take for 1 64th of the initial dose to remain in the athlete's body? Now, in this case, we could do it two ways, right? We could do it basically this way that we've been doing, right? Or we could do it the math way. It's up to you. Now, I say that since we already started doing it the fraction way, right, let's keep going with the fractions. But if you wanted to do it the formula way, here are the two first order equations that you need in order to solve for this t value. 
So if you want, try the, the equation way out, see if you get the same answer. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep working with my fractions. And maybe what I'll do is I'll put a fraction up on top just so that we have more room. And all we're going to do is we're going to keep chipping away. So now we're down to one fourth. Well, I need to go into another half-life. That's another 42 days, right? And now you just take that denominator and you could times it by two, right? Essentially what you're doing is you're taking each fraction and timesing it by, timesing it by a half. And in this case, if you times two fractions together, you multiply the denominators. So four times two is eight. So this is now gonna be one eighth. Okay, well, we gotta keep going to 1 64th. So we're gonna keep going. We're gonna add another 42 days. This is getting crazy. And you take the eight times it by two. So now you have 1 16th left. Still not there. I'm gonna keep going. Another 42 days goes by. And 16 times 2 is 32. Not there yet. Got to keep going. Um, let me do that. Another 42 days goes by. And now 32 times 2 is 64. And that's, we finally have reached to 164th. So... How many half-lives did we go through? One, two, three, four, five, six half-lives. So we're going to take the 42 days and times it by six. What you can do is you could add, you know, these up as well, right? Take 42 plus 42 plus 42 plus 42 plus 42 plus 42, but that's the same as saying 42 times six. So 42 times six, drum roll, please almost a year so 252 days and that steroid will still be in the body but it will be a 164th of what it was uh from that faithful day of injection yay and this is the answer so how long would it take to you know for 164th to be remaining 252 days and that's it so you could try it out using these methods. Let me know in the comments. Um, love talking to you guys, and I hope this helped. Uh, the, way, the, the reason why we could do it this way is because the fractions worked out very nicely. But if they give you a fraction that doesn't work out nicely or they give you a random you know, value, then you definitely have to do it the calculation method. But um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming to the video. Thanks for checking out the channel. We also got physics and math videos on the channel. So check out the channel. We may be able to help you in those uh, subjects as well. My brother and I, we really do truly appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for the support. Um, we're almost at 40,000 subscribers, and it's all because of you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I will talk to you soon, okay? I hope you have a great day. And keep studying hard. You got this. Bye-bye.